Welcome everyone to Seth Jen Seth Chirok, influenced and inspired from Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls by Elena Favilli and Francesca Cavallo. Our goal, as you know, I repeated already in our eight videos, that with this project we introduce you to women's stories that will inspire you, encourage you, and support you to name your creativity. Today, guest. Oh, Felen. Welcome, Felen. Thank you. Felen um, is a researcher in the topic of anti-discrimination, racism and family. She's a creative scholar activist. And I met her in a woman meeting. The topic was alternative medicines and healing, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What we were doing there? Uh, we were like, I think, 10 women. Mm -hmm. And everyone was sharing a story about um, what food you can eat, which has healing powers, or any illnesses and doctors, which are really good in the city. And one was, we also had like some wellness beauty stuff, like with the face mask. And then we also had a healer. She was... Um, doing like this shamanic healing yeah and everybody contributed we yeah. had food and we were many nice um women yeah. yes i'm very happy to know you from that beautiful meeting welcome to session session thank you very much deepa and you chose a story for us to read right yeah can you please read it yeah sure um the story is about one then ye she was an astronomer. Once upon a time in China, there was a young girl who liked to study all sorts of things. She loved math, science, geography, medicine and writing poetry. She was also great at horse riding, archery and martial arts. Her name was Wong. Wong traveled widely and was curious about everything, but above all she loved astronomy. She spent hours studying the planets, the sun, the stars, and the moon. At that time, people thought that a lunar eclipse was a sign that the gods were angry. Wang knew this couldn't be true and decided to prove it with an experiment. She put a round table, the earth, in a garden pavilion, and from the ceiling she hung a lamp, the sun. Off to one side, she placed a big round mirror, the moon. Then she started to move these objects exactly as they move in the sky until the sun, earth and moon stood in a line with the earth in the middle. There you go, the lunar eclipse happens every time the moon passes directly through the earth's shadow. Wong also understood the importance of making math and science accessible for common people. So she got rid of all the arist aristocratic language and wrote a paper explaining the force of gravity. Her reputation spread far and wide. In her poems, she often wrote about the importance of equality between men and women. Thank you for beautiful reading. You're welcome. Today we are hosted actually in a beautiful place by Sivena. And I will moderate it, but I don't want to speak so much now because I want her to ask questions to Felon. And uh, Felon read a beautiful um, story to us now. Sivana, what would be your first question to Felon? Thank you, Diva, for inviting me to host this meeting. Um, Felon, it's really special to know that you have chosen this story on your own. So I'm already curious what it is that made you choose this one story out of the whole book? Um, at the moment, I'm really thinking a lot of, about the moon and a full moon and new moon and the lunar calendar and everything. And um, yeah, and this that's why she uh, like, um, I like that she um, that she likes all sorts of stuff and also science and women and science uh, is not so like you when you like choose what career career you want to do after school 
Then um, there are these the boys studies and the girls studies and like astronomy is a really like masculine maybe um, area and like she was from 1781 or 39 mm -hmm. I don't know but it was really long ago and she was one of the first female astronomers so this is really like a pioneering thing and um, What I also liked about her that she likes so many things like math, but also poetry and horse riding and martial arts. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. Nice. nice. And, yeah. Mm. and is there any any special link to your life from the story of the woman you presented and um, who you are and what you like to do in your life? Um, I think that... Uh, The last part I was reading that she is um, try she tried to make this knowledge accessible to everybody. I think um, I find a link for myself in this, like sharing my knowledge and making it ex as accessible as possible, like to democratize or decolonize knowledge. So value knowledge of people who are not valued so much and whose knowledge is not so much valued. Mm -hmm. But also like making important stuff um, available to other people, and I really um, like um, videos, and um, I'm a visual person, mm -hmm. so I would like to make movies one day and um, make these like little videos to explain stuff, mm -hmm. and but in a creative way with like cartoons and stop motion and this nice. and so she did it writing and I would do it like somehow I don't know there you see the link so through videos through movies a uh, very creative way of expressing um, popularizing and making accessible uh, and valuable the knowledge of the ones who are not valued mm -hmm. yeah This sounds very mm, hard project hard yeah <laughs> yeah yeah from coming from my yeah heart. yeah And uh, can you tell me something more about how do you do it? How do you succeed? How do you manage to um, explain your knowledge in an understandable way to, to everyone? I, I use the videos which already exist and uh, I share it. Uh, I, I give people time to share their thoughts on it and... Um, And also I like this, um, there's some, uh, a method which is, um, which is like making a collage uh -huh. um, and thinking about your biography and like visualizing your life uh, with pictures or drawings and I'm into all this stuff. So there are people who are more like um, that, they, that they love like talking and writing but drawing is not so easy for them. Uh, so you have to find um, many options people can choose if they like work on themselves and think mm -hmm. about themselves. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I miss the drawing part a lot in many areas, of, for example, in academia. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, and so I would like offer more opportunities to do something creative and not have a fixed end. Drawing is uh, also very bodily experience, mm -hmm. um, right? Do you see any connection? I will ask you a creative question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see any connection between uh, drawing as body experience and the moon? Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> drawing question. as bodily experience. Yes, sure. This is actually why I'm thinking so much about the moon at, moon at the moment. Because I have some... Um, my, my cycle, my periodic cycle is little um, imbalanced at mm -hmm. the moment and mm -hmm. I was reading that you can um, change or you can influence your cycle with um, eating uh, certain seeds and you start with the full moon until the new moon mm -hmm. and then you eat like um, a full moon until you eat flax seeds and um, and 
pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. And then the other lunar phase, um, you eat um, sesame and sunflower. Um, couldn't read that. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah. And this this is helpful for for balancing uh, your. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it is, it is also new for me, that's why I chose this story, because um, I uh, don't know so much about um, the moon and the cycles and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Good, thank you very much for, for inspiring answers, uh, Felon. I maybe give mm -hmm. the thank last so part to Thank you so much, I enjoyed your uh, conversation somehow, it was really beautiful. And I have the last question. Mm -hmm. How can we possible an academia with drawing? Oh, um, easy. Like easy, easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> you can... Um, I actually use it at the moment for my PhD. Mm -hmm. I have an emotional diary. Mm -hmm. It's like a field book, field diary. And there's many questions. And there's one question which is like, what am I in the field? And you can either draw or write. And I always like draw myself. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a really nice um, uh, addition to all this uh, theoretical thinking and mm -hmm. all mind um, uh, focused stuff. And this is more coming through my hand and feelings. Mm -hmm. So, and this you could also make bigger. Like if you, if you interview someone mm -hmm. and the person has. Um, problems to remember stuff if you then ask can you maybe draw the place where you grew up and people start remembering and remembering stuff they mm -hmm. didn't because they like visualize differently mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. great wow i would be very curious to read your and actually to see your phd also <laughs> <laughs> uh, i heard so many words like decolonizing knowledge i heard that you're into drawing writing moon movies i wish you uh, all the positive energy uh, and and power to um, create all what you uh, you into mm -hmm. and thank you so much for being here in fragrance as well you're welcome thank and you for inviting me thank you Susanna. thank you, so thank you for the questions